Hey guys, welcome! Today we are gonna start working on a bridge to reach the other side of our town over here. So that's we're gonna be starting to design our very own bridge and uh, I'm gonna be removing a few things that is kinda in the way, like this guy over here. <laughs> so Danny will have to go away, he got a pretty cool title though, an extraordinary crafter, that sounds great. We have a few intimus that is almost about to grow up, but I think I'm gonna remove them now anyway. We can wait until the harvest or collect, I guess, and um, let's remove these as well. These are kind of almost done, though. I'm just going to remove them to make life easier for us. Uh, these, however, they could, yeah, they could stay for a little while, but I'm just going to remove them. And uh, move them to a different place before we start doing the bridge over here. So, where is our farm going to be for now? I'm, yeah, maybe over here would be a good option. So we have a big long house over here. We have some duck in here, and some beautiful little duck chickens, are they called? And I, I think they're probably called ducklings, right? They're children. Are they called ducklings? Yeah, duckling. It's adorable, yes. And uh, let's uh, once again move these tents. They never get a place to stand for a long time, so we're just gonna move them away from there and put them over here. We're also building our entrance into the mountain, and it looks like it's going pretty good so far. We have to get a few things done, like the like the iron bracer, we have to get a yellow hanging banner, and some flat stone rabbit. Uh, but that's not going to be too hard to do. And we also queued up to do the font of summer, and I'm pretty sure we haven't made it yet. We can see with our mason. So to do this one, guys, we need to have bright bell flowers. And my guess is that we could get them from our herbalist planter. If we can grow the bright bell, and I actually think we can. So if we click this one, we can look and see what kind of herbs we can grow. So we can't grow any bright bells because they are native to a different biome. And we're playing in the Arctic biome now, and uh, it would be the green biome, which I don't really know the name of, but it would be that biome where you can find them. And how do we find them, if you're wondering? If you're using the Ace mod, it changes the game dramatically in many, many ways. You will be using a herbless exploration garden, and since we want to find herbs of um, a different place, we want to make sure we change it to that. So let's see here, add fertilizer. The herbless is going to refill the garden with fertilizer so it can be used to find new crops again. Okay, we have to do that first. I think we just have to wait with that. I'm going to click it twice because I think we have been waiting a while for it. So when it is done, we're going to set it to start explore more exotic herbs from a different biome. That's what we're going to do. Okay, I can't do that quest, man. So, let's see. So, it would look like this one. Find native water plants or find exotic uh, water plants. So, we just have to wait and I do think we... Yeah, we might need... N yeah, maybe another herbalist. Earl of the Bone Bearer, currently a herbalist. And we get a cleric Ariel Evergreen was an herbalist before. I'm thinking I'm gonna up the limit of people in my town, guys. So if you have a name, a suggestion, do let me know. This could be a bad thing that we're doing this. But I'm gonna go up to 30. That means I can have a few more workers, I can get a few more herbalists, and maybe a few more clerics. And another thing I wanna try with our clerics in this playthrough is to get a cleric that is using a scepter instead of a tome, because tomes are more for healing, meanwhile scepters and shields are more for debuffing your enemies, making them weaker, pretty much. Trap level 3, awesome, Sunova. We can make you now become an... Shepherd. Because that's what we are going for. So now we just need a Shepherd Crook. And it also showed the alternative talisman. That's really, really awesome that you can see that. If we click this one, alternative, and I think we may even see that for these, potentially. Yeah, either we have a mason stone axe, or we have practice sword, or a short spear. So that's really cool. Creatures are drawn by Amberstone. Yeah, we did put out a little object over here. So this one is gathering energy. And that's why we got attacked by some wolves over here, but I don't think there should be too much of a trouble. Let's send out the troops. Make sure the job is enabled, so they can help out. Go, go, my people. Oh, <laughs> did this explode? Oh, I think they broke one of my tokens. Are they running away after breaking that? Where are they going? 
Where are you guys going? Are you fearing Banto's little army coming out for you? Well, we're not gonna let you get away. If they don't poof away, that is, then I can't do much about it. <laughs> Where are they going? Ah, are they gonna take the ladders <laughs> over the gate? <laughs> I mean, that's, that works, I guess, but it's not the best place to go. I'm using some tonics here to speed us up. Okay, so that was an easy battle, but I got an extra way to get into town because we are building with the ladders over here. So, I guess that's not too good, but nothing too bad happened. So yeah, since we're getting more people, I'm gonna promote some people. So I wanna have... Um, first, let's go and uh, make a shepherd crook. This one. And wow, we have a lot of furs. Wow. That's cool. Should we maybe make our cop at the busy? Because I know we're gonna need more shields eventually. It's good to prepare your town for things. And another way you could do that would be like, I always have a 5 shields round, and these are decorative shields. And up here you can see how many we have. So we have 11 shields, so we don't really need to do them for now. If you don't want to do extra, then we would craft instead of maintain. But it's good to have like a supply of things, I like that. So perhaps I'm gonna have a couple of crates, and we have 4 at the moment, let's say we want to maintain 4. I'm gonna do that for a few objects, I always have them around, maybe two ladder bound chests could be nice. And some ornated wooden dresser, maybe we can do those, they're really really beautiful as you can see by the value over here. Uh, but they don't really fit in too much with vikings, but still, it's a nice decoration and who knows, maybe they took it from a raid. <laughs> so they decided to decorate with that, they probably did that right. They found some exquisite furniture, they like brought it home again. Alliance had achieved blacksmith level 2. Bronze and Iron Age, that's cool. We did get another blacksmith. We can work a bit faster. That's gonna be great. Hey, tombs. Why do I have 8 tombstones? Memorial of the. F Why do I have 8 tombstones? I haven't had 8 people die, I sure hope not. <laughs> then the game hasn't told me about it, that's for sure. That's. That's strange, right? That is very interesting. Okay, so let's see if Subin can get a companion soon then. So, Sunoma. Okay, we're gonna wait with that. But we could um, get another herbalist. So what are we looking for? We're looking for potentially high spirit, but also high mind. So mind means you will kind of level up faster. Spirit means whenever you're crafting something, you will be able to craft them more, more frequently. And uh, if you become a cleric, you'll also be healing more. So, I'm kind of leaning towards Gris McGriff, you might be an herbalist, I think so, yeah. Come to bring a list of presents, I can't do that one. I kind of wish I could cancel the quest because I feel like we're never going to be able to do it. Vina Soviachi Ruer, level 2. The brewer learns the art of vinification and is able to tread on simple fruit for the must and set them to ferment in a brand new wine cask. That's awesome. That means we were gonna be able to get some vinegar. Hopefully very soon. Let's see. So in this one, using this vessel, the brew is able to ferment different wines from fruit must. Wines are both available commodities and exquisite beverages. And I want to maintain these as well. So I want to maintain four of those. And another thing we probably want to maintain would be juice vinegar. Prepare an appropriate fruit juice to be fermented. Within the wine cask it can be turned into a jug of vinegar. So inside of this one, we're gonna put this one. And I want to maintain these, so every time we craft one of these, we only, yeah, we only get one. And a juice. So pretty much we have to make a juice first, like uh, bucket of bear juice. At the moment I think we made sweet potato juice, because that's something we are growing. What is this thing? This halfling will grow hungry most slowly. Oh, okay. So we have to make one of these juices, and uh, then we can do that. And we can also make wine, wine vinegar as well. It really depends, like there are more than one way to do it, and that's awesome. So maintain five, that's gonna be good. And see they did also put to make bear, bear juice. I don't have any bears, so let's gonna remove that. And uh, what are we gonna do instead? This one needs one every time. So what we're gonna do is to 
maintain five because your people i already had it i guess because your people can also drink this one it's not only for making vinegar but it is also like a drink and i might even up that amount for a while because then we can get a bit more experience so that's exciting that's gonna be awesome i'm not sure where we're gonna put it for now Maybe we can make like a nice little basement, or maybe we can have it inside of the mines. That would be a good spot for it, I think. That would be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. So one way we could be getting those bright bells, instead of finding them through the herbless, I think this might have bugged out, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see if I move them, if they maybe start working again. Because I want to keep finding herbs. But yeah, those tombstones was interesting why we had so many of those. I mean, we could make like a graveyard, or you can make maybe a graveyard around here to show the enemies. Don't go to Birka, the Viking city. You might get pretty destroyed if you go inside of here. You're gonna be totally destroyed if you go in. Okay, looks like we got the Shepherd Crook. Here we go. Second shepherd. Now it's going to be easier to take care of the chickens, the duckies, and also the little sheepers. And yeah, let's do the farm over here. So I'm going to get to the bridge hopefully later on in, in this playthrough today in this video. But for now, I'm just going to focus a little bit on planting things. So this one, how wide was it? Nine width? Yeah. And did you know that you, as it says up there, you can rotate how they're gonna grow. So if you want that way or this way, it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna keep growing sweet potato. Barley, if I remember, that needs a bit of extra water, yeah. Then it will grow faster. So maybe we have some sweet potato farming over here. Meanwhile, maybe down here, somewhere by the water, we can make a temporary place for farming. Or what we can do, which we have done before, is to dig underground and lead water up so we can get some water. And also when it's raining, that will also provide some good water. But we can still have it here. Let's have it here for now. And uh, how big should we make that? Maybe we could... Um, let's decrease that again. Let's make a big barley field. That should be good. Let's give that a go. We don't want to overproduce things as well. Kind of pointless. Oh, look at that loinker. Ah, is that a pet or not? It says it's a wild boar though, so I guess he's not. But he's like standing next to our person over here. Darkness Dave, is that your piggy? I think those are from old trapping grounds. I wonder if we can't actually delete them or hunt them it seems. Another thing we want to do here is that we want to harvest over here. Get away those trees, we don't need those. And uh, we may as well get away those trees. Keep it kind of open so we can easily design a bridge over. And I don't know how high I want this bridge to be. I do have a general idea how I want it to be. Like we could have an open bridge or we can have a bridge with a roof over. And I think I'm gonna go with a roof over. And I done something kind of similar in the past. And I'm gonna maybe multicolor the roof for the bridge. I did that in a town long ago on a live stream, and one side was like blue, the other was green. And I just think it kind of worked very good together. And we're probably gonna put some shields on the side of the bridge as well. Look at that sweet bones we got in gold, guys. Because of the, what we chose them before with the town upgrade, we got a plus a thousand gold, that's awesome. A new set would like to join your town, you're welcome. Who's joining? Asta Gundir, welcome, welcome. Let's see, I want to see what kind of stats you got. Traits. An animal companion 244. That's pretty good things. No level up for now. And the Grismack Griff got his cool headgear. Some antlers on his head and he's soon level 2 already, that's good. A little goblin sneaks to camp, what are you kind of trying to do up here? To take him at ladders from the cave. Go and take them down.
Oh, they're running into the game. We might have some people stuck in there. Let's take the random so they can go out again. Ah, oh, they're stealing from our cave. I'll take my done mine. Okay, I think we dealt with them, I guess. That was easy. But they do have a camp up here, so let's send some soldiers to deal with them. And also, we get a new request from Tomti. What is this time? Ah, seven wine cast. That's actually something we can probably do. That's nice. Okay, how long was it that we had for us? Two days. That actually do sound doable. So I'm gonna queue up through ten of those. And I'm gonna have them under. Make sure we are making them as quick as possible. Okay, there's a lot of things going on. Let's see. Okay, we do have some creatures out here as well. I don't think we have to worry too much about them for now. However, we do have some looters out here. We gotta be careful so they don't die. And here's another one. Let's make sure we break the little goblins first, and then we can go for the wolves. And looks like we do have some animals here as well. That's a wild game that spawned. And Mr. Raccoon over here. Okay, let's go and do the real battle. Where's the wolves? Let's see if we can find them. Oh, here they are, okay. Oh! What's happening down here? <laughs> People drawn by the Amberstone? I think they took a bad place to spawn at. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of fighting today again. I think sometimes the game throws too many events at you. I'm not sure what you guys think, but I think sometimes it's a little bit too much. Not, not, not that it's like hard, but it's more like... It's like too frequent. Since we're done with that, let's disable the job once again. Oh, it wasn't actually on. Okay, that's maybe why, why my people were fighting a little bit strangely. But now it looks like they have removed most of the force that I wanted to remove. That's great. And let's see, I'm not sure what is actually happening in these. I feel like they may be bugged out. Let's see if I have a few extra ones I can put out. So with the herbalist we can make these um, exploration gardens, but we need... Ah, is it maybe that we are missing a simple fertilizer? That, is that why we ain't making it because they actually need the fertilizer? I thought it was just like they go there and do it, but I guess we need that as well. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, do we have to make it simple? I guess we do. And we, I'm pretty sure we should be able to do that. But let's ma make sure we maintain these. Let's remove the ones at the bottom. And let's make maintain five of those. At the very top. So, chunk of compost. Um, that thing, if I remember right, we get from like this one. And it should turn into compost over time. It do not seem to have a lot inside of it at the moment, but we got a bit of compost, which should be in that... I think we can put that together and make a ball of compost. Yeah. So... That's another thing we can do at the very top. Let's put the main thing forward, five of those as well. And that's an easy craft, so good for leveling up an early herbalist. Let's put together a compost. And um, we could maybe also add another one of these, but I feel like we don't need that. Let's start throwing in some bones in this as well, because we get a lot of bones. I usually sell the bones, so why not make compost out of it instead? 
and I wonder maybe if we're doing like a second compose. I don't know exactly how to work, but maybe then we can compose things faster if we have two of them. I'm gonna craft another one. And I saw something that I haven't seen before. Farming enhancements and seeds. Seed of the barrel are composed. We need 12 chunk composed and one wooden barrel. With good sealing and tight packaging, compost can be properly transported and in and is viable as a product to be sold to merchants. Oh, that's cool. Time to turn poop into gold. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> All of our economy is on, on, only supported by that. I wonder if it's even this they want. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't really know. I'm just gonna make sure I maintain like four of those at the top as well. I think this one should work. But I'm not sure if there's a benefit of doing that one over doing this one, because this one is a lot simpler. And now we should have fertilizers, but they will both be used for exploration gardens, but also for our farms, as you can see here. Those little extra, kind of looks like dirt almost, that's like the fertilizer, so a few of them have been fertilized. And if we click this one, we can even see that. So 32 has been fertilized, and that will uh, change how fast it grows. And currently it's growing slower and um, I don't really know why that is. Because I got almost perfect sunlight. It could be the season now, oh, it says right season. Ah maybe it's too much sunlight. Okay. So this one grows better when it's not too sunny. That's interesting. And realistic as well. This one wants a lot of sun, but not 100%. But also prefer autumn and also winter. And then not covering them is also important. It doesn't matter for the sweet potato, it seems. And we're gonna need some water later on. So the more you match these uh, different properties of requirements, the faster they will be grown. And you can also set what kind of fertilizer you want to use here. If you want to use no fertilizer, low quality, high quality. And you can also set specific ones they want to use as well. All pretty cool stuff. So hopefully soon they will be doing these. I'm gonna just issue the order again. I think they queue up to do and um, fertilize when I do that. Yes, they do. Okay, let's remove that. And we can probably clean up a little bit in here because I'm pretty sure we don't need these still. And what we can do instead as before, we can maintain. Can we grow garlic? Is that a herb we grow? I think it may be something on the farm, right? I haven't seen it outside in the land though, but maybe that was some wild garlic. I guess we will see, but that's kind of hard then. Yeah, those are gonna be real hard to get. I don't have any garlic, and I can't grow it here, and I can't grow it over there. So I guess the only way I can actually find it is by buying it, or being lucky in finding them in the train. I think I did so before, but that's... That feels a little bit strange to me, I don't know. But it feels a bit odd. Okay, with another person join. Bogumir Ulfsson, welcome. Two, two, and four. Okay, let's see if we can finally get to making a bridge. I know we've been going around everywhere in this episode, but there's a lot of things happening. But it's time to do an uh, bridge then. New building. Make sure we click that. And uh, let's see, where do we want to make this one? Potentially we can match it and imagine that it would be... Maybe another, like another road leading down there. So we would match it somewhere like that. But we haven't made any houses there yet, so we can kind of do it wherever we want to, sort of. So, let's start with making a bridge. We can make it mainly in wood. If it would be like a medieval town or something like that, not Viking, then I would have gone for like a stone one. Um, but what we can do at least is to get some kind of ID when we're all the way over there. Kind of where we want to be making the bridge later on. So I'm just going to leave that over there. Then I'm just going to drag this over to match it the other side. Do 
It's good to use these blocks for finding out how you want to do things. So now that we have that, I'm going to design how wide I want it to be. And I want it to be kind of wide, like 7 and width would be probably pretty good. Maybe even 9, maybe 9, maybe 9 was, might be pretty good. Yeah. That would be like that. We have four blocks on each side, like so. There we go. And uh, if you want to, we can remove the middle now. Fine. And uh, I don't know how high I want this to be. I'm thinking that maybe we don't have to go under this with our boats, our ships. Because there's not really much to do in here. But rather it could be a lower one. And it maybe, you know, that could kind of be a protective thing against the chips because we don't want them to go inside of the enemy. When enemies arrive, we don't want them to go inside. So I think I'm going to start with some poles and then we're going to do the same thing on both sides. That's easiest if you want to keep the same thing going on. If you don't, it's kind of easy to mess things up. So I'm thinking some thick poles like that. And then we are gonna go... I don't want to go up too fast. It's kind of gonna be really the width is gonna be a 7 where you walk, but it's gonna be kind of like... Maybe it would be like that, pretty much. So maybe we'll come up too, like so. Then we're gonna start to go up, and then we go up... Or blocks, maybe. Maybe even five. And then we're gonna keep going up again. So let's do five. We're gonna keep the kind of the same amount until we reach an height we want. And this might be the very top of it. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good, I think. So the idea is to have a roof over this, and that's going to be interesting because I want the roof to kind of slope with the bridge as well. I think that's going to be looking pretty cool if I manage to do that good. I'm going to make another pole, let's see, I think somewhere around there, let's see. Maybe not, let's see if we go... Okay, I got a really weird bug now. I got a message, and now I can, I'm not allowed to put the blocks here. Are they kidding with me? <laughs> you can't put any blocks here. That's weird. That's really weird. I wonder... I'm just gonna redo it and see what happens. Okay, now it works. That's weird bugs. Let's redo it. Okay, we're back and so far it's working, so I'm gonna make sure I do a save. We run into an error again. Okay, so here we are. Now we have to figure out we're gonna be now we have to figure out how I wanna do this and we're gonna be recoloring it. And I think I may do most of it later on, but one thing we could potentially do in the beginning would be just to change like the middle coloration to make it like pop out from everything else a bit. So that's what we can do. We're gonna fill the middle. And sometimes when doing this, instead of uh, painting it, it's sometimes e easier to just go ahead and remove the parts. It's a little bit quicker sometimes to do it that way. I really wish there were like a fill thing, that would be awesome. You can have a fill tool to just fill it up with the correct color. So you can see this is quite a lot faster. Okay, there we go, I got a coloration at least for the middle and that's pretty good start I think. So, I think I 
maybe these could be here and then we can have some other poles and those poles that we're going to be adding are going to be supporting the roof that's going to be above and I'm thinking of having it over the entire thing but it doesn't have to be over the entire thing we can actually make it so it's owned in the middle what we're going to do is that we're going to start with the middle and then we're going to figure out if that's what we want to go with it so let's have um, maybe four between each something like that and then we're going to make sure we drag these up or add a little bit of them I wish there were like a hotkey, like I can drag this way, right? And also if I attach it to the side something, but I really wish I could like hold a shift key or control or any key to be able to just drag it up from here as well. One way would be to, for example, if you want to do that, it's kind of tedious as well, you can do that and then can drag it up. So that's one way and then remove it after. But that's all six time. The easiest probably is to drag it up like that when you put a one out usually how I would do it and we need to have three in height I'm thinking of maybe lowering these sides I haven't decided yet but I'm thinking lowering them so it kind of slopes down when it's leaving the middle but first let's try out how that could look so we're gonna start making like a roof so we're gonna shape this You can imagine up here we would be maybe really raining down arrows and enemies. And we're not gonna make this like too pointy. I think we may go kind of flat on the top of this. I think it's gonna fit pretty nicely. I think it's something like this. And to make life maybe a bit easier for us to do this. I'm gonna cover in the middle kind of everywhere. I'm just gonna remove that. Drag it out like so. And we could keep this if we want to, but I'm just going to remove whatever we have in between. That works out pretty good. And then we have the an roof, and I'm going to do the green we done before. And it may be a single colored roof, we'll see. Then we have it over like so. And then it's going to be over here as well. It's going to have an overhang like so. Looking pretty good, and then we are probably also gonna have something like this to protect them a bit. That's pretty neat. And then the idea would be to slope this down here later on as well. And that's gonna be the more hard part of designing this. But like I said, it really depends on how you want it to be. And maybe it's not a good idea to have it like that, but. It could be kind of fun to kind of like give it a try, I guess. So let's maybe try that at uh, maybe this side. So gonna keep adding. We're gonna have four on height over here. And we're gonna do kind of the same as we did here, but we're lower down this time. And then we could um, kind of drag these out. And then we adjust them as we go. So we would have to lower them when we get closer. But let's do it like this first. Well, another way we can do it, if we go back, would be to start from the bottom. Yeah, that might be actually pretty good. That's going to be kind of easy to translate it up to this one. Because when we go up one step here, we're probably going to go up one step on the roof as well. So we come over here, it's going to be like that. And I think we're going to have one like so, and then we'll go up one step. Let's give that a try. So we'll keep going like that, and up one step. Rinse and repeat. So it would be like that, and then we're gonna do the same thing at the other side. I'm gonna go ahead a little bit and make another one. Should I do it already here? I guess we can. There we go, and uh, let's do what we did. We're just gonna fast forward this. So 
So there we go guys, that's really how I wanted it to be, so I'm really happy this worked out and I feel like I even learned something new today. And uh, now guys, it's time to make some details and... Um, hmm... Since we made it very random with the coloration of the green, I'm gonna do that with this building as well. Let's make sure we do a save first, however. Gotta keep yourself safe when playing Stone Harf. And uh, I'm also gonna in change a thing, I'm gonna increase how often we do auto saves because I feel like it's a little bit too often. I may regret this later on, but uh, it will pause the game from time to time, so it can be a wise idea to change it if you feel like it's doing that too often. And it can even help to disable it fully, but I think myself that it's it's worth to have it on. Because if you will forget to save, you don't want to lose everything you done at least. And you know, make sure to save every now and then. One thing you could also do is to hit the F6 key that the standard key for quick saving. However, it's it's risky because if you hit F7 you will load. So maybe you will change the F7 to a different key. Maybe you will have a shift F7 so you make sure you don't accidentally reload the game. So I'm actually gonna do it now, I'm gonna buy shift F7. So now I can easily save with quick save with F6. And it should be a quick save if it's working. Okay, I hit F6. And it should be a quick save. Ah, the quick save is at the bottom, okay. The only thing with quick save to keep in mind is that it seems you can only have one quick save. So keep that in mind if you're running more than one town. But yeah, okay, so what are we gonna do now? We are going to be recoloring this, so we can add in a bunch of different colors of green here. And the bigger you build this, the more laggy this process is going to be, because painting on big structures creates a lot of lag, it seems. And I'm going to go very random with this. I'm not really placing them in perfect spots, but uh, when I have placed a lot of them, I will go back and have a look at them and see if I think it looks good. The main idea is to have quite a big, good variation of these colors that we have at the moment. And then the brighter greens gonna break it up a little bit, with not too many, many spots. There's gonna be a few of those. So that would be this one, and we add it kind of a little bit random, not too many like I said. They're kind of breaking up the pattern a bit. There we go, I think that's a pretty good base, uh, but I want to make this look more special. So what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make something over this, at the middle like so. So can I maybe think that's what's pointless, my Banto even made that. Uh, but it's fun to experiment and that's I think is a way that you can find new creative ways. So we're doing this on top, you can imagine like we did it with our buildings. And what we can even do up here, guys, we can even make a chip. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but we can make like a chip over here that's sitting over that would look like a boat. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but the idea that I had was more to, you know, we could do kind of the same thing we had before. This is wider than before, though. However, this time, since we have an even number here in between, we can't do uh, every second one like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it wider. And that way we get like a gap in the middle, but I think that's fine. And maybe on every ending one we do like that. Like that, I am not super happy with how it looks at the moment though. So I'm gonna try to do something like that in the middle. Look like some kind of horns. It might make it even a bit bigger. And we can do kind of the same thing over here. And 
And if you want to, we can even make that in bones if you want to do. I don't think I do want to do that though. But we could have done that. And the ends over here, we're going to do like we did with our roofs, I think. And do it like that. Another thing we're going to tweak, which I also use my normal roofs. At the very ends, I like to remove one block and then we add it. Because it creates a nice little curve when you do that. And it's something I do pretty often in my buildings. It, it gets a little bit more shape to the building. And if you want to, I, not, I don't think I want to do this, but if I would have followed the normal buildings, I would also have gone like this under it. And I think it actually looks really awesome though. However, that will cover a lot. So what we're going to try instead is to color the very end here. And that's looking beautiful. That's looking awesome. I like it. That almost gave me goosebumps. I think it looks so nice like that. Yeah. That's really nice. I think it looks a lot better. Depends on how you want it to look, I guess. But I really, really think this looks really sweet. Okay. I'm liking this one. I'm thinking, though, if we should maybe add a little bit more support on here. So it would be like that. Maybe only like so. Yeah, I think that's kind of nice. Okay, that's looking nice. So, one thing, however, I think I'm gonna make this more like so. It's both is gonna look stronger, but it will also allow me to put some shields up there. So we can have it like that. And then... Uh, Maybe some braziers would be nice. Maybe when you, yes, when you get in here. Or some candles. Or torches would have been even better. But I don't want to put thick torches. But let's go maybe for the wooden candle from Home Sweet Home. And if you guys want to use the mods I'm using this playthrough, by the way, I made a collection. If you go to the video description of this video, you can find a collection with the mods I'm using. I removed a few ones though because we're not really using them. I, I removed, for example, the Goblin Kingdom. And also you removed a few other kingdoms. They are really good mods, but you don't really need it for this playthrough. If you're gonna play Vikings, you don't need it. I mostly kept them because it was it was easy to keep them, but removing some mods here and there might improve your performance, and that is something you will benefit from a lot with this game. So now we have a lot of light, so it's gonna be really brighter, guys. I'm almost wanting to change these supporting ones to be in stone. Nah. I'm gonna go without stone. Let's go with... Let's go with the wood. So I'm feeling really satisfied with this one. I hope you guys like it as well. I wanna see how it looks if I remove that. Ah, maybe we we'll go without it. I don't know. Let me know, guys. With or without. Maybe with it. But I hope you guys like how the bridge turned out. I'm really happy. I'm super satisfied with how it turned out, really. I didn't expect to be able to curve it that good. I think it was a really good curve. So I hope you guys enjoyed our new bridge. And uh, I will also be sharing this one later in the template package. You can use it as well. And I'm probably going to make a shorter version of this as well. So you can use it for when it's not so wide of a gap between. But this is going to be a good access from our main town to the other side of our town. A future town over there. That's looking awesome. I love it. But guys, this will be it for today. So this was a pretty long episode, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So I'm really, really happy about it. So guys, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like on the video. I want to thank my members here on YouTube as well for supporting me. Thank you super duper much. And I hope you guys will have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and... I hope to see you guys soon soon again. Take care everyone. Have a good rest of your day.